For more on the nation's jobs market, let's bring in Karen Tremontano. She is former labor advisor to President Bill Clinton, and she's now CEO at Blue Star Strategies. She joins me here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Thank you so much for coming down here. Uh, let me first ask you what you think about the headline number. I mean, 8.6% looks certainly a lot better. No, it does. It looks a lot better. Um, I think it's encouraging. Um, I think, uh, you know, there's some reasons for it that uh, there are more workers out of the workforce, but despite that, I think it's a very good number, it's a very solid number, and it's uh, trending in the right direction. How much do politics play into it? I have uh, a viewer here who writes that uh, the unemployment numbers consistently declined in nine out of ten years, October through December. Is it politically driven? No, I don't think it's politically driven at all. I mean, uh, Matt, the job numbers came in at 120,000, revisions up in September. Uh, good and strong numbers in October, so no, it's not politically uh, driven. Uh, there's real jobs out there. There's people that are coming back to work. What do you think about the prospects for, for further recovery, though? I mean, the, it's, it's, it's at least disheartening that people, 300,000 and change, drop out of the labor force, right? They see no future looking for a job. Yeah, no, I, uh, part of that is um, the public sector. Um, jobs are, we're shedding jobs in the public sector. I actually think the president has a very good uh, proposal uh, to help states that bring back uh, teachers or retain teachers and firefighters and uh, police. I think that would be good for the overall economy. I also think it's good over the long term to have our education system be, be strong. Uh, so, no, it's, it's, uh, it's disheartening that that many people are losing, um, losing hope. Uh, but still, the numbers are trending in the right direction. And I think that's we've got to look at that, and we've got to look at those policies that can enhance that. Speaking of disheartening, uh, we had the recent failure of the Super Committee, and now we're looking at sort of piecemeal passing along things like uh, the payroll tax cut, which looks maybe threatened, uh, passing other issues that were connected to that. Uh, how much faith do you have that we can get these things done, or do we need to? Well, I think we very much need to. I think uh, our governance needs to govern. Um, I think it's very important that Congress enact policies that help the economy, that help the least of these, um, and that help workers who are struggling. Uh, so I think it's very, very important that uh, they lead uh, that we somehow end the political bickering in Washington and that people step up. I think that's very important that they, they step up and lead and, and help this economy to move in the direction that it's clearly moving in right now. Do you think that can happen before the election or do you think that's what it's going to take? Uh, I think the piecemeal approach can happen before the election. I think it's going to be very, very difficult to get broad policy change happening before the election. But I think if um, uh, both sides of the aisle come together and break these pieces down that are important to working families, um, I think that can be done. Are you concerned that we see first uh, a double dip or do you think there's a threat of that? Well, I think what's going on in Europe, um, it's a challenge. Um, and um, I, I have no idea whether there will be a, a double dip, uh, but I do think that we've got, um, you know, the fundamentals, I think, are trending in the right direction, and we've got to stick with that. Um, hopefully the doomsdayers will be more limited in their doomsday report, because I do think um, this is a good sign. Uh, this is a good number. 120,000 jobs is a good number of jobs, and that's happened now consistently, and I think it can keep happening. Let me ask, ask you quickly about um a trend that we've been seeing uh, less federal government workers and more private added to the private payrolls. I think 140,000 added to private payrolls. Is that a trend that you want to see? Is that a trend that you think Washington wants to see as well? You know, I I am more concerned about the um, shredding of jobs in the state and local and municipal um, areas than in the federal government. I think um, I'd rather not see any loss of jobs. I don't think anyone would want to see that. But I think um, at, the, at the local economies, building those up is very important. As you know, uh, small businesses are the backbone of our economy. And as those jobs are shed in local economies, municipal governments, uh, state governments, that really hurts small businesses. So we've got to keep the small businesses up. And, we've, and that's why I do think the president's proposal to help states not lose those jobs and actually retain teachers and firefighters and police is is good is a, is a good proposal and it's a proposal that should be adopted by the congress all right karen thank you so much for joining us karen tramontano from blue star strategies former advisor to president clinton